Hello to all of my suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers. Happy Saturday. How are y'all? Okay. So, little Miss Rodriguez has an upload that she did on Thursday. And I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and get into little Miss Ma'am easing into her day. Because we all know how Alex loves to ease into her day. So we're going to ease right into it with her, okay? And call her out on her bull crap along the way. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's snowing. Are you excited to go out in the snow? Are you excited to go out in the snow? You want to go play? You want to go play? Oh, <laughs> he ran out. Oh my gosh, he's going to be in heaven today. Look at this. Oh, he's just laying in the snow over there. As a Floridian, I am cold just looking at this. I will admit it looks so beautiful. It's like a winter wonderland. Guys, there's my positive comment for this video. Y'all know I like to try to say at least one thing that's positive, and now it's positive. I do really like this. It's really, really pretty uh, because Florida would never. <laughs> Florida would never, okay? We have to go to places to see um, snow like this. It, it doesn't snow well. I guess if you're in Tallahassee, it, it may snow, but down here where I am, which is on the East Coast, I'm right on the beach um, of Florida near Daytona Beach. Y'all would know that. Um, there is no, girl, there is no snow. We be down here crying when it's 60 degrees because, baby, 60 is freezing, okay, out here in these Floridian streets. So I would say that this is beautiful and I'd like to see it, but I definitely would not want to live in it. Like, seriously, I have just chill goosebumps or whatever, just looking at this. They look cold. There. Oh my God, he is in his element. He loves it. Here he comes, the star of the show. You're all snowy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> He definitely is the star of the show because none of us give a damn about you, bitch. Yes, Bruno is the star of this show. And every now and then, when that man of color over there makes an appearance, that's the star of the show, too. Because what? <laughs> Whatever, girl. Keep talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Hey, Bruno's girl. Here resting because he was running in the snow for a hot minute he is in his element and it's so i just i love i love seeing him run around in the snow and who knows if this is going to be like the last uh snow day you know of the year i just had a little telehealth with my psychiatrist because your mental health matters so yeah we're getting a huge snowstorm right now well it's about damn what did lizzo say it's about damn time uh, 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 uh. Make sure you tell her that you still had that binge eating disorder too. Don't skip past that. Make sure you let her know that you had the lap band, you had chin lipo, okay? You've also had a fupa choppage, and your big ass also had gastric bypass. Make sure when you're talking to that psychiatrist, that you tell her all of that. Don't you skip past now one part because you are in your th in the three hundreds, baby. I know what three hundred uh, looks like. I used to be three hundred. I know what it looked like. Okay, and you there, you you are absolutely there, and there is no reason why because you had your whole lower abdomen removed. You had your chin removed. And then you had part of your stomach taken away. And then they have bypassed your small intestines, which means that you cannot absorb as many calories. But yet here your ears absorbing everything. Okay? Girl, you got a lot to tell that psychologist. And don't you skip a fuck thing. Don't you skip shit. Do you hear me? Why are you sitting up here 
with your eyes closed, your mouth open, and your hand to the side with this ugly ass ring on, Alex. Alex, we on to you, okay? You better tell that psychiatrist everything. And don't you skip anything because you have problems that stem deep and you need some serious help. There is no way that just any normally sane person would have that many procedures unless something medically is wrong. I would like to state that. So I'm not talking to you if you have a, a medical issue and it causes you to have these weight problems. This girl right here is just entitled. She's selfish. She wants things done her way. She wants them done quickly. She's always looking for a dupe and a shortcut. And see, that's Miss Mama's problem. So for the rest of you, not talking to you. I'm just talking about Alex. Oh, it is. Gosh, I don't know. I think we've gotten at least six inches. And I think we're going to get a couple more. It's not going to stop for a few hours. But Yara's working from home. I figured I would do like a snow day vlog and hang out with you guys today. Because, I don't know. Like, it just, I love hanging out with you guys. What the hell? What the hell? What the actual hell? Guys, we are about to be in the house all goddamn day. We're not leaving this house. We're not leaving this house today, y'all. Y'all, we're not leaving the house. We're going to be at the house. I wonder if she's going to take her big ass in the gym that she got at the house. During a snow day. So I thought we could do a daily vlog. I have some stuff I need to do around the house. I have an Amazon haul for you guys. I do like a monthly Amazon haul pretty much um, with like uh, fun, new Amazon finds. I know you guys love that. I'm kind of curious if the snow is going to stop in time to like go out at all today, but I feel like probably not. We did run out to uh, the grocery store last night and grab a couple of things because we were getting low and it was so busy. I don't know why. I now, Suburbanites, Beach Bums, City Slickers, I want y'all to tell me something. This woman buys everything in excess. So I just want to ask y'all, have y'all ever looked in her refrigerator when she opens it in her vlogs and ever seen anything low? I'll answer that for y'all. No, hell no. Everything is in excess down to the condiments that are overflowing in the little um, compartments that are on the side of the door when you open it. And then she has this huge walk-in pantry that is absolutely filled with shit. I have never seen someone that doesn't have a lot of people in their house. Like, obviously, if you have um, a kid or two, you know, a husband, you got a dog, you got animals. Of course, you're going to have a lot of food because you have a lot of people to feed. This woman's house consists of her and the yard. Why is there so much food at this address? I just want y'all to think about that when she's going and shopping all of the time and getting stuff because her, her home is filled with snacks always it's always filled with snacks i always just find like the chaos of grocery store get the bread and the milk i just always find it so so fun but you know what i'm really in the mood to make and i grabbed um the other day i grabbed the can of biscuits to make my little egg bites that i had found on tiktok i haven't made those in so long they were such a favorite breakfast for me last year they're so quick and easy to heat up in the morning so let's whip those up So we are back. I'm just going to um, mute her music. So we're back to making egg bites. Now, I have gotten egg bites before from uh, Starbucks. I love their egg bites. Okay, I usually get the, the spinach ones um, with the cheese. So yummy. And it's really good on... Hold on. For these last two? But it's, it's really good for me when I'm doing... Um, keto right because it's low low carb high fat but this big bitch has put biscuits in egg bites girl that is no longer an egg bite y'all know what this is it's a bacon egg and cheese biscuit from mcdonald's that's what that is with, with jalapenos girl this is no longer an egg bite 
girl, this is a whole sandwich that you just crumbled up and put together and you just eating it in a different way. This and see, this is what I really hope that she tells her psychiatrist what she does for a living so that her psychiatrist can come and look at her vlogs and look at this kind of stuff right here. Because who the fuck makes egg bites and then puts biscuits in it after having gastric bypass and knowing that she wants to lose weight? Why, why not just have the egg bites and save all those carbs? I, so, I swear to God, sometimes I just be wanting to slap the shit out of Alex, man. Because she does some of the dumbest shit ever. And then say, I did everything that I could. I don't know why I'm still fat. Bitch, this is why. Because you're putting biscuits inside of the egg bites. This is some fat shit if I've ever seen it. This shit is fat as fuck. Wow. Unbelievable. She hasn't learned anything. They are done. And look how cute they are. Just like little egg muffins. So they're kind of um, biscuity on the bottom, egg on the top with cheese, and I do jalapeno. And they're just so easy to reheat in the morning. Get some protein. Um, yeah, they're delicious. You can add veggies. You can do whatever. I'll be glad when she gets her fat ass off of protein, okay? Because the truth of the matter with protein, bitch, you can eat like some chicken the size of your hand. You know what I'm saying? Just get your portion of chicken and then boom plus one of them chocolatey ass protein shakes that you love to drink so much and then you got your protein shut up stop eating so many goddamn carbs okay when you have i don't eat sugar yes you do what in the fuck do you think a biscuit okay and noodles and shit turns into once your stomach starts to break it down and your system starts to digest it, it turns into sugar. Hello, Alex. Sugar, it turns into. Into sugar, it turns. Alex, hello? I know they told your big ass this, but see, you are hell-bent on doing what the fuck you want to do, and that's why your fingers look this big right now. Look how big that corner finger is. Look how big it is. That's why, Okay. You can miss me with this bullshit because I know what I'm talking about. And these people that are watching, they know what I'm talking about too. And they've been saying the same shit. But hey, your ears, you don't listen. You don't even listen to your own followers that that are there for you. Like, girl, get off my fucking screen. Let me, let me get through this video because see, I'm already pissed. And we only, what, three minutes and 12 seconds in. Girl, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. You want them so yeah super easy i did them on 350 for about 20 minutes but keep your eyes on them so i usually have two so i'm gonna have my breakfast i have not had these in so long i was so into these for a long time and like the flaky biscuit kind of like goes to the middle Shut mm, up! as good as i remember a few minutes later so i'm just packing up my egg bites pop them in the fridge and heat them up in the microwave is anyone else's dog just always at their feet you're just always right there. I just love you. I just love you. I love you so much. Are you going to run in the snow more today? I want to go out there with you. I'm going to put on my boots. I'm going to watch you run around. Yes, I am. You want to build a snowman? You want to build a snowman? I love you. He's getting groomed on a Friday. We've been brushing you, but your hair is getting a little long, getting hard. Getting a little hard to maintain. <laughs> Ooh, big stretch. It should be hard to... I see your feet. No spring. It shouldn't be hard to maintain. He has a lot of hair, which means you should brush his hair every day. And I would say, don't you brush your hair every day, but we know you don't. So I can't use that. Normal people, people who love themselves, they love them pets. They, 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 they groom themselves and their animals every day or every other day, at least for the animal. But your big ass need to wash every day. No screwed. Okay, I also have some exciting news. This is the candle that I made from, I used the oil from Lone Star Candle Supply and I burned it the other night during our Super Bowl party. And you guys, it smelled amazing. So I'm so excited. This is the move. So if you need good oils, um, Lone Star Candle Supply. I really liked it. It was a great price. You can get like one ounce ones really cheap. And it's just enough to like make a candle of this size per the one ounce. But anyway, so very excited. This is the champagne toast. It smells so good. 
Um, and what I also looked up online is if, I think the first time I blew it out too quick. Does anyone else absolutely hate when they like shit that Alex likes? Champagne Toast is like my favorite um, fragrance at Bath and Body Works. Girl, I love me some Champagne Toast. I have so many like bottles of it at my house because everyone knows I'm never going to get tired of it. So they buy me that for like my birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Everyone knows Nella loves Champagne Toast. And here she is, her big ass fingers clicking on the damn candle talking about a Champagne Toast. Ugh. Ugh. Wicked, it started a bad um, melting. So I saw a little hack on how to fix that. So let's try it. So apparently you just take aluminum foil and make like a little little jacket around it and then light it and it will help to melt it all down evenly. And then I'm just gonna light it like normal. It should help it to burn evenly and get all that wax down from the sides. So we'll let her do her thing for, it should just take a couple of hours. Okay, now I am so excited. I have been accumulating my Amazon haul to do a haul. So I can't wait to show you guys my finds for the month. I've got no! an here. Actually, I'm gonna make a coffee really quick. Stand by. Jeez. All right. Got a little Valentine's Day cup. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, by the way. So we're in the Valentine's Day spirit. Okay, so first and foremost, it's a lot of like home stuff because that's just what I love. But I did get this sweatshirt and it is exactly what I was looking for. I'll try it on. It's like the perfect oversized, like comfy, cozy, oh, ah! it's perfection. Ah! I love that it's ribbed. Woo! Woo! Hey! Girl, I really hope that your psychiatrist look at this so that she can see, okay, not only does she have um, a binge eating disorder, but she also is delusional as fuck. <laughs> Girl, this is not oversized, okay? I'm going to make some merch that, that just says simply, you know, when you put on your oversized shirt, but it fits. It fits! It's not oversized. <laughs> That's just your size, Miss Mamas. <laughs> Ooh, when the package just says oversized, but you put it on and it fits, bitch, I'm screaming. <laughs> Ooh, Alex, that's a good cackle. Thank you for making me cackle, okay? Because <laughs> there ain't shit about this oversized except for your body getting in it, you yeah. know? Now quit fucking with us talking about oversize. That's like my favorite. They have a ton of colors and it's an actual oversized fit. Cause like the thing with Amazon and being plus size, there's so many cute things that like don't fit the plus size body as oversized. And this one is genuinely oversized. They had a ton of colors. It's not too hot, but it's still a very nice soft fabric on the inside. Like with leggings, I just, I love, I live in stuff like this. And I just think it's like so cute. It was a great price. So they actually, this is actually a plus size item um, and it goes from one X to five X. So this for reference, I was nervous because with Amazon, you just never know. This is a four X. So for reference, next time I'm ready to go for three X. <laughs> Did y'all hear what she just said? She said for reference, this is a 4X. Now, I want all of you Alex stands out there to think about the fact that this big bitch had gastric bypass, okay? She says that she is a size 18. We're going to... We're going to make this fucking math, math today. We're going to make this shit math for y'all on today. Okay? She's a size 18, so she says, right? An 18, I believe in American sizes, depending on where you go, because I look at this stuff right now. Okay, I lost 100 pounds. I'm still big, though, guys. I'm a size 16, but there are some 18s that I can wear. It's just um, like in the waist, like I have to like put on a belt. But what holds it up is that Miss Mama's got that donkey donk, okay? My ass is assing, okay? That's from all of that soul food that I like to eat, okay? 
I'm all them hot, I'm all green, you know, them greens, them collard greens. Okay. That's why I had to cut back on soul food. But that's what will hold up an 18 for me because my waist really isn't that big. It's, it's like a true 16, but my ass will hold it up. My ass be assing, okay? Now, from what I've seen with my own personal life, a 16, they will say, is a 1X. An 18 is a 2X. This woman said for it to be oversized, she got a 4X. Guys, a 4X is a 22. A 4X is a 22. I want to say that again for y'all. A 4X is a 22. Two, and look at her right here in this steel shot. Does she look like she's in an oversized shirt? Or does she look like her body, her torso is filling this shirt up? The only thing that is oversized is the length of those sleeves on her and how big it is around her forearms. Everything else fits Miss Mama's. So I'm going to let y'all just ponder that in y'all mind and y'all can put in the comments what size y'all think this big bitch actually is. Because what I'm going to tell you is that 18, it is not. An 18, it is not. It is not an 18. It is not an 18. Look how thick her neck is in this steel right here. Baby, y'all can listen to Alex if y'all want to. But honey, she's a lie. Use a lie, Effie. For reference, and this is in the shade khaki, and they just have like a ton of perfect neutral colors. Like it's just perfect. Oh, it really is. Thirty-two dollars. I, I mean, I do. Something. I do like oh, right. of here. Okay, right here. Look at the model. See the model? Do you see how this is hanging off of her body? And see how it's drooping down and hanging down over her first uh um knuckles right here knuckles or uh tarsals okay <laughs> that's what you call them in science they're tarsals metatarsals phalanges her tarsals okay and you see how all of this is just like extra fabric and there's so much this is oversized okay we even look at these down here this is oversized and you can see here where she ain't lying to y'all, she skipped past one, two, and three and put her ass right here at 4X. And then the shirt that she is wearing looks like it fits perfectly because it's not oversized. Now, do y'all see the difference in what oversized is supposed to look like versus what this big bitch actually is? Now, let's look at her. Perfect neutral colors, like it's just perfect. It really is. Thirty-two dollars. I mean, I do, I do like how oversized it is. It's Very not good. oversized. This one's a hit. Okay, I needed a new dish dry mat. Um, the old one we had, you know, after a while, my Alex, I see you guys smart and stop doxing yourself here. She doxed herself before, guys. Um, she had a package come in and she forgot to blur it out. And well, yeah, everyone saw her address. <laughs> Dish dry mats just get like really gross even after you're washing them they're just kind of like stained and yucky so i found this really cute one that kind of gave me anthropology vibes it's like i like to have something that's kind of cute for my dish dry mat just because it is like out on the counter um and i prefer to not like put it away because you know throughout the day you use it so look how cute oh my god that is adorable adorable i think they called it herbs it looks more like flowers but there might be some herbs so cute Totally matches the vibe of our kitchen, um, like the little pops of like greenery and then a little bit of like, you know, orange and yellow. I think it just, it's so perfect. It does have a little, um, it's ugly to hang to dry, but, um, they had two sizes as well. I think I got the bigger size, but such a cute dish dry mat. And I feel like it will just look so cute, um, on the counter. And I think if you click this one too, they had other options as well. 
all of like cute styles, but I don't know. This one just spoke to me. It's so springy. Okay, speaking of spring vibes, spring vibes and anthropology vibes, this I've seen. I'm pretty sure this might be viral because I've definitely seen other people have it, but look how, oh my God, this is so cute. This mug is so darling. It has it's flowers ugly. and cherries on it. And it's also on the inside. And it's like a good size mug. It's not too small. It's not like a big mug. It's like the perfect size mug. And if you click on this one too, they have a ton of cute patterns. Um, I'm pretty sure they have different flowers, different fruits, different colors. And it's like got this cute little, you know, imperfect shape. It just, it looks like it was made like a pottery class. I want to take a pottery class. When we were younger, we, when I was young, we had this shop in our area called Clay Time where you'd go and make like clay items. <laughs> we'd make plates, bowls. My mom still has mine. Um, it was really popular for birthdays in elementary school too. And then you'd paint them and it was just so much fun. I don't know. This kind of reminds me of that. I think, oh, so cute. And like I said, they have a ton of different styles. Oh, I'm really excited about this. This book has been being talked about a lot. <laughs> I can't talk. I need to drink more coffee. This has been being talked about a lot online lately. Don't believe everything you think. Um, this book. So I'm really excited to read it. I've heard a lot of good things. You, yes, read that book. Okay. Because your ass think you are a size 18 and you're fucking not. Okay. You think a lot of things that aren't true. You there's a lot of sh there's a lot of shit that your big ass think that you need to stop believing it. Okay? Please read that book and apply it to your weight. Okay? You think that you are healthy and you are not. You think that health and weight are not the same, okay? And they are. They absolutely are. So you need to hurry up and read that book, girl. Hurry up. Hurry up and read that goddamn book and apply it directly to your fucking weight loss journey because the journey ain't journeying, okay? It's not fucking... Stop trying... I, I can't even get my thoughts together. Stop trying all kind of different shit when you already know that what you need is a low-carb, high-fat diet and you also need to get rid of some consumption of like dairy products. I wouldn't say all of it because we all know that you will go insane and that is not conducive for your everyday life, but you need to do something because you out of hand and you have a younger generation that's watching you and you hurting people's kids. And I will keep saying it. I don't care how long I have to say it. I will keep saying it. You need to be stopped. And apparently people rave about it, including a lot of therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists. So I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, this I'm really excited for. When I did the little mudroom makeover, a lot of you guys said like a lamp would look really nice in there. And it's so Nobody true. Nobody said it's that. It's dark in that room unless you put the overhead light on. Um, nobody, nobody fucking said that, okay? Because when it comes to your mudroom, I watched country shade tree and i also watched priscilla p and not only did they say it people in the comments um of their videos were saying why are you cluttering up the mud room and then i went to your comments miss mamas with your subscribers ma'am and they were saying the same goddamn thing nobody told you to put a fucking lamp in there you are just a consumerist and that's what you want to do. So you want to try to push it off on everybody else. But I searched your goddamn comments, bitch. And people were not saying that. They were saying, why are you cluttering up, you know, the mud room? It looks good. You know what I'm saying? You did a good job. But then you kept putting shit in there. And for what? Because you're a consumerist. I'll tell you why. Because you like spending money. And that's your business. Because, you know what I'm saying? If, if those women over there want to keep supporting you, and spending their hard-earned money on making you rich and you do whatever you do, shit. Whatever. Hell. In the mudroom. But we don't have an outlet in there, so I was like, girl, they make battery-operated lights. So this is so cute. It has, um, I'm pretty sure it has a timer as well, which is absolutely fabulous. So it's so cute. Let me show you guys, because we really do need some sort of little light in there. It does just feel very dark. Oh, and it does have a remote as well. 15 minute timer, 30 minute timer, six hour timer. Um, and then levels of brightness. 
that makes it super simple. Honestly, I'll probably just do it so like every day it comes on around the same time for the six hours, probably when it starts to get dark around like five, maybe four. Because we, we go to bed by nine. Maybe I could do it for three. I don't know. Look how cute. No! This is so pretty. And they have different colors. It's got nice pretty brass on the bottom. It matches the mudroom decor so well. It's got a light inside. This genuinely just looks like a light you'd buy at like Target or Home Goods. But I love that it doesn't require a plug. So if you have those weird little areas that just <laughs> don't have a plug or it's awkward and the plug would just show the cord and it would bother you, this is fabulous. And it had great reviews. So I have to try it. Okay, I'm putting in the batteries. Oh, there she is. It's so cute. And I love it. It's honestly like a nice thick glass. It's fluted, which is like my favorite. I love like a fluted ribbed glass. We it's don't perfect. care. It's perfect. How cute is that? And it just, it matches so nicely. So we've got the power button, oh. power on. Um, so let's see, this is at hundred percent. There's at the lowest percent, the 25. If you want something like dim, of course, I'm going to leave it on the brightest. Oh, I love it. All right. I'm going to shut it off for now. It'll be really nice if we come home and it's like dark out and we, cause we always come in through there. So it's going to be perfect. Okay. So you guys know I have become obsessed with anthropology. lately. First of all, in past videos, Miss Mama's right here said that she liked to be in the house by three o'clock. So when in the fuck? Is your big ass coming in uh, at night? Alex, listen, girl, you you just tell on yourself with a lot of stuff. I just love their stuff. But of course, it's pricey. So like I said, I love to try to find little Amazon similar items. And this is just giving me that vibe. Look how stunning this candle is. This statue candle. And it has a... Girl, I know you fucking lying. Let me ask y'all a question, because I hate this. Do y'all love this? What part of Alex's house does this statue head candle match? I'll tell you, none. What the actual fuck? <laughs> this shit is ugly. Oh my God, it kind of reminds me of like when I was in elementary school and they used to buy ceramic things and you could choose like something like this or a flower in art class and they let you paint it. Girl, that's what this is giving. I don't know how people are influenced by her home decor style because she has none. It's just a bunch of different random things thrown the fuck together. Woodwick. First of all, the second I took it out of the packaging, I smell it. They had different scents, and it is. It's just a stunning, like, cement concrete statue with a candle. Like, that is so cute. I was deciding if I want to put this in um, my bedroom or not. In my bedroom. My office. Mm, it smells so good. I got some sort of clean smell, but, like, look at the detail. Like, this just looks... This looks so cool. And I love a wood wig. And the fact that I can actually smell the candle is just a bonus because I would use it even just as a decorative item. Okay, so as we know, she's a nice coffee girl. I don't like hot coffee. I like iced coffee. And I have to drink it out of glass. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I'm probably not the only one. So I always love finding like a good glass tumbler. I feel like we've all got the ones right now with the wooden top and it's kind of shaped like a can and i wanted to just find just something different and look how cute this one is i am obsessed it's got like this really pretty kind of amber brown tone to it but it is see-through oh. it is all glass it will fit in your cup holder and it comes with two of the little brown glass straws and of course comes with some straw cleaners and then if you want you can cover the straw hole here as you can see there's like a little cover and you can just sip it if you don't want to use the straw but this is so freaking nice and it suctions on y'all know that at this point alex is just scraping for content because why is she sitting up here explaining how to use a cup that a toddler could figure out either she playing off y'all talk as her loyal um subscribers or she really think y'all a bunch of dumbasses that don't know how to use a damn cup. Like, is this seriously content? I'm sitting over here playing a game on my phone and just listening, waiting for something interesting to goddamn happen. And here we are still talking about Amazon finds. I don't give a fuck. 
And there is nothing about this goddamn cup to obsess over Alex. Girl, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, man. On. So you don't have to worry about it coming apart. This had really good reviews. And they had like two packs, they had different colors. This is nice. I like this. So if I want to take my iced coffee to go, that's perfect. Okay, as we know, I am a hair clip girly. I told you guys this was a good haul. And I am laugh loving for the bow moment right now. I think bows are so freaking cute. And look at this bow hair clip. Or are you oh, kidding? It was a pack of two. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. So y'all just going to let her get away with this? Let me tell you something. My niece has cuter bows in her barrette can. Now, I don't know if y'all know what a barrette can is, but let me enlighten you. In the black community, okay, I ain't going to say all, but most, like, most black people are going to know what the hell a barrette can is. Now, in the black community, we have a can, okay, and it is filled with different types of barrettes and clips and um, what else, beads, because we do put beads in, in our um, little girl's hair. So usually, even when I was a little girl, like me and my sisters, we had a barrette can that my mom you know, purchase the different types of, you know, stuff for our hair to make it look pretty. So in that can, like I said, you have a bunch of different um, types of barrettes and beads and things because my mom braids hair so beautifully. And we always had the cutest hairstyles with braids because my mom knows how to braid and she would put beads on it or barrettes and never... In my life, I'm 41, I'll be 42. Has my mom ever put this ugly ass shit like this right here? This shit right here? This shit right here, y'all? In our head. Alex, girl, where are your people of color friends to help you out with cute bows? Or not just people of color, girl. Because sometimes, you know, I've seen like cheerleaders and stuff. They have the really cute bows. To go along with they little um cheerleading uniforms, girl, you need help, girl. Girl, you need help. You might, you know, who you can ask who has cute bows, Gabby. Yeah, you need to apologize for whatever shit you did because I know it was your fault, bitch. Because Gabby is so sweet, so we know that it was your fault. Whatever you did, you need to apologize and then ask her, you know, beg your pardon and then ask her what kind of bows to get. Because this ain't it, Miss Mamas. You look stupid as hell. And that bow is fugly. Okay? I don't know what the hell is going on right here. This is crazy. Two. But imagine you put your hair in a little, like, claw clip with a bow. Are you kidding? No, are you really kidding? Good size. Like, this is pretty much the kind of size that I wear right now with my hair. But it's so cute. Ugh, no, it's I don't know if they have different colors. I think they did. But I just got black. And I just... I'm, Oh, in love. I haven't seen anything like that yet. And then I also grabbed this clip here. It's so beautiful. It's like this kind of pearlescent oh. white with um, 3D gems of ch cherries. So okay, she's got it up here. Are y'all loving this? Are you guys totally obsessed with it? Are you obsessed? Are you guys obsessed? That's me talking like Alex. Are you guys obsessed with it? Huh? Hmm? Do you love these like cherries so much? Are you guys obsessed with it? Are you gonna go to her Amazon storefront and like purchase this like clip right here? Cause you're obsessed with it too. Girl, shut the fuck up and miss us with this bullshit and this dumbass content creating. Well, the content that you think that you're creating cute for spring and like i don't know the details so pretty like the cherry stems are like little gold beads um so i don't know i just thought this was so pretty and again very unique so my sunglass holder in my car is kind of falling apart i've had it for a while it's like bent it's like hardly magnetizes anymore so i upgraded and got this really cute one and i love it because it has this really pretty um texture and design to it and i like the ones i don't like the ones where my sunglasses are visible i like when they're like in a case or protection like this because they have clip ones where your sunglasses just clip on and like they're shown outwardly but I really like 
this one. So it just goes on your visor, magnetizes your sunglasses in here. It's felt inside or velvet, so it'll keep your glasses protected. And yeah, I just, I think it's so like glamorous and pretty and it feels like a really nice quality. Okay, so a lot, a lot of my gold hoops are from Amazon, the ones I wear like every day. So I love, love finding cute earrings from them. These are so, so pretty. These also kind of look like something sold to Anthropology. You better look at these hoops. So as you can see, they've got like texture oh to them. Oh my where... god! Look at this ugly ass shit. Are y'all wearing this shit? Who's purchasing this other than Alex? Alex, no, no, Alex, Alex, no, girl, no. Into the motherfucking O. Do y'all see this shit? Are y'all seeing this? Do you see? Are y'all wearing this? Holy fuck. I, girl, whatever. Keep talking. They're not perfectly smooth. You know, they've got a little bit of divoting to them. So it's so cool because it's a hoop. From this way, it looks like that. From the side, it's like curved, but then it's also kind of square. Oh, like so, so pretty no i'm obsessed and all their earrings are just like so affordable but they have the cutest designs these are just like some regular old um like medium-sized gold hoops from amazon that i've been wearing a lot lately but these are just so much more like elevated and cool okay i just need to point out something because i thought it was just me or maybe something on my computer and so i wiped my screen but everyone look at um her left eye do you see where the cursor is right here on her left eye you see that thing right there girl is that a pimple guys what is that is it a stock what is that because see as much as she has raved about these new skincare products she shouldn't have any new breakouts but what is this on her eyelid you know what alex it has nothing to do with that skincare product stuff that you're using you know what this is your big ass won't clean your brushes thoroughly and now your eyes are telling you, bitch, I'm broke out. We breaking out. We breaking out. Alex, stop using dirty brushes on yourself. Clean your brushes. We all know that they're dirty because we've seen them. Girl, your eyelid is like, I hate you right now, is what your eyelid is saying. And since I hate you for putting dirty brushes on me, I'm going to break out. Sincerely, your left eyelid. These are so cute. Okay, so the lip liner stain is, is like in full effect. Um, I've tried these before and I do really like them. I got a lighter shade um, called those. So we'll have to try this the next time we, you know, do our makeup because my lip liner is always like the first thing to go. So needed but if you want to try um that key lip liner stain that's super popular right now i'll link this too no! okay so i also grabbed a couple clothing items as well this workout top looks perfect it's a little girl where in the fuck are you wearing it okay where are you going with this little ass half ass shirt your stomach not your stomach because that's not as fun to say but your stomach it's going to be hanging the fuck out. Girl, you put that on you want to. Your stomach is going to be out here in these streets. Hey, your stomach is going to be out here in these streets if you put that on. Lemon dupe. I can tell you I have the lemon top. This feels very, very similar. This is the XXL, and it looks like it's going to fit perfectly. It looks very similar. No! Must be a commercial. Or, like I said, to the ones that oh, I already have. You, know, you buy something and okay. you tell. I mean, I'll wear it during my next workout and I can show you guys how it looks. But I got this red kind of tie-dye. It's got built-in bra, of course. Um, and it's kind of perfect. Lots of stretch. Lots of stretch. And the perfect kind of cropped fit to go with your high-waisted leggings. And speaking of leggings, I decided to try a new pair. So I found this three-pack for a great price. Mm. And they had really great reviews. I know most days we're all living in leggings. Okay, these feel very similar to like the no, buttery soft not. blonde yoga fabric. Oh, these are oh, these are nice. Okay, I love the way that these feel. And I got the ones with pockets because I like these for the gym um, or from like walking. I can put my phone or my keys in there. Um, I only have like one pair with pockets on the sides. Um, so I just thought it'd be fun to try. But these have a really a nice stretch and they are just, wow, they're soft. They're buttery soft, not see-through. Buttery nope, soft. Nope, that's opaque. 
that's so pink. So I got the XXL, which I'm glad I did because a lot of my leggings are in XL, but um, reading reviews, the XXL seemed like a better choice. And yes, definitely. Still very stretchy. They have bigger sizes too. Um, oh, these are nice. These feel very, very buttery soft. And then this is not that exciting, but we got this for our um, our bedroom's bathroom. They're just these little black night lights that have an auto on and off switch. Um, it's like soft light. Um, they're really cute though, just for when, when we get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. But it came with a two pack. They are actually like really, I think they look really nice. So you just plug them in, it has a soft light on the top and the bottom and they look really pretty. So it's just great. So you don't have to turn on the big bright bathroom light if you go to the bathroom at night. Or if you wanted to put one like in the hallway, um, anywhere that you need light in the middle of the night or when it's dark and you don't want to put on big light. So I don't know. I think these are great. Like I said, they had great reviews, pack of two. Um, I'll report back once we're like using them and whatnot, but yes. That's the Amazon haul. I am very pleased with everything that we found on this month. Very excited about this cozy sweatshirt as well. So I'll report back on wearing these after the next time I go to work out. But no. all this stuff will be linked, of course. I wanna put my distress mat on the counter. I gotta put all this away. So let's set up our mat. And it's gonna be much more absorbent as well. But look, oh, that is so pretty. What side do I wanna put it on? I think it goes this way, yeah. So damn cute. All right, it is time. Bruno and I are gonna tackle this laundry. It is definitely a snow day kind of task. We've got a lot to fold, so let's get to it. Oh, hell no. Definitely not gonna watch her do no motherfucking laundry. Got me fucked up. Skip this, here we go. Look at her dumb ass sitting up here with a fucking hair towel on her goddamn head. Well, at least she finally washed her hair, y'all. Shit. Oh, shit. To wash the hair. I'm telling you, if you want your hair to like smell like you left the salon, um, I've been using the Whey leave-in conditioner. And Is this a commercial? Stitch fix. Anyone can have no! a stylist. It's... No, 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 no. Can't listen to the commercial, guys. Sorry. We gotta skip it. Oh, come on, computer. Don't be a dumbass. What the fuck? What is this? What? Okay, y'all. My computer being absolutely ridiculous and i don't know why don't know why it's being ridiculous but it is here we go smell like a salon it's a great leave-in conditioner too it's not sponsored or anything but it's just like a really really good product um i also forgot i had opened some new pieces from random fry um look how cute these are these earrings are called the scarlet and they're these little huggy hoops but they have like a little diamond at the top they're so cute Ugly. and then they have a new charm here it's like a little black heart with little diamonds on the bottom also and then ugly. with the 22 inch Avery chain. So there's the jewelry for today. And I'm so excited because they gave me a bigger discount for you guys for the next week, 20% off the website. So anything you guys have been wanting to grab, grab it. It's going to be for one week starting today when this vlog goes up um, and the code is fearless 20. I'll put the link below. Um, but great. I'm so excited because normally the discount is 10%. So 20 is like amazing. No, it's so, not. Let really me grab anything. I feel like it's so cute for um, Valentine's Day and just spring. I pretty much wear Miranda Fry necklace like every day. I took my bracelets off the other day. I need to put them back on. But you guys know I love Miranda Fry because they have a lot of size inclusive options for their bracelets, anklets, charm, uh, not charm, necklace lengths. They're just great. And their rings too. So um, I love that they are size inclusive. So I'm sitting at the kitchen table editing. And anytime Bruno goes to the door, he's telling us he wants to go outside. Do you want to go outside? So go on. Here you go. So cute. You playing? You having fun? The way his um, tail wags when it snows, like he just, oh, he's digging. He's digging. Look at him. <laughs> he is having the time of his life. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still sitting here, still editing, um, drinking my water. I do, I really love this tumbler. It's like, I've never even seen the brand before, but I really like it. I like, because I like the rubber bottom. Like when you set it down, it's like quiet and it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't like stumble around. Um, yeah, I just had some lunch. I heated up some of the buffalo chicken dip from the Super Bowl. Had oh, it with what? some um, some pita chips and celery. And I don't know, I, I could like live on apps. I really could. So um, I should probably let my hair start to air dry now because I feel like after a while this is like so wet there's only so much I can do I'm telling you oh my god like 
my hair. Not you just washed your hair and it still look greasy as fuck. Listen, suburbanites, can y'all please get down there in them comments and explain this to me? Now, this bitch washed her hair, yet it still looks greasy. Now, y'all taught me about uh, this kind of textured hair, about Caucasian hair, and I need y'all to tell me how she just washed it visibly. She just washed it, and it's still greasy as fuck. Somebody hurry up. Get down in the comments and tell me how. Because this, okay, this doesn't make any sense. How does it still look like this? It still look dirty. Shit. It smells so good. Because you know, I just, I feel like a lot of hair products make your hair smell good for like a second. This is, that's powerful. <laughs> it's very powerful. The hair is growing, you guys. The hair is growing. I just want to be able to do heatless curls again. I do think, I don't know, I'm like, do you think it's long enough now where we could do the heatless curls? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, the snow is pretty much stopped. So he's probably going to snow blow later. Um, but we got a lot. Like, we definitely got at least like eight, nine inches. So if you guys got snow, let me know. I'm also very excited because um, today's Tuesday. So last night there was a new episode of a 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. I was so bummed <laughs> they didn't do a new episode of regular 90 Day Fiance on Sunday night because of the Super Bowl, I think. So we got to wait another week for 90 Day Fiance. Are you guys checking back in? I'm about to whip up dinner. Oh. So I figured it would be the perfect kind of ending it towards this vlog. I also finished blow drying my hair earlier because I was really cold. So yeah, it's 5.30. I'm gonna do barbecue chicken, little veggie blend, and mashed potatoes, homemade, because they just taste so good. And it just sounds like such a comforting winter meal. Jesus Christ! Definitely, definitely not gonna watch her ass cook. Ha! <laughs> Hell no! Y'all, well, maybe we will just talk while she chops up some shit. How much y'all wanna bet this shit gonna look nasty as fuck? And it's not gonna be seasoned right, and that man of color ain't finna eat it. Hold on, let's see what she say. So we're gonna have corn. I love corn on the cob. I haven't had this, I don't think, since last summer. Potatoes are on the stove. Um, those take the longest, so I'm gonna wait a bit before I start everything else. Look at that chicken. <laughs> it's still clucking. It's still clucking, bitch. What the hell? She just be using her dirty ass hands on shit. Oh. Oh, wow. That was a lot of sauce. Hold on, let me see if she talking. No. Look at that corn, that undone corn. Here is Yara's plate and here's my plate. Now, Alex, Alex, bitch, stop playing with us. That's your plate and that's your plate. Girl. Put how much you really eating on there, okay? If you real like you say you are, you that bitch, you that girl, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You down with us in these motherfucking streets, bitch. Put how much you really eating. Put how much you really eating so we know it's motherfucking real. Because this ain't real. We know your ass is eating more than this in one sitting. And why you didn't go ahead and make the rest of the corn? Because we know your fat ass going to eat it. What the fuck, man? And then... Where's the season is on, on the corn? And where's the seasoning on the mashed potato? See, this is why that man over there is going to leave your ass. The only thing that's probably going to taste all right is that chicken. And that's because you poured half a bottle of barbecue sauce on it. So it's got some kind of seasoning. But girl, where's your seasoning for that corn and the butter? Where is it? Where's the seasoning for those mashed potatoes? <laughs> and the butter, bitch. That is a man of color. He used the seasonings, okay? Abuela was round there throwing down in that motherfucking kitchen when he was growing up. Where is the seasonings? You better carry your ass over to Abuelo's house and figure out how to fucking cook before this man go to army and eat at her goddamn house. Cause this right here is some bullshit. What the fuck? And you wanna have kids? They are gonna be looking at you crazy as hell, okay? The half colored side of them is gonna be like, mommy, you got us fucked up. <laughs> I'm cackling. <laughs> if you gonna feed your man, at least do the shit right. I can't. 
can't stand you, man. Poor, poor Yar. Poor future children. Shit. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to our corn and save these other two corn probably just like for tomorrow. But yeah, Pretty I like oil. to cook my chicken. I cut up. It gives me less of the chicken ick. Just tastes better. You can trim off any parts you don't like. But yeah. We'll see you fingers. Also, you guys, it's now uh, 724. We had right. dinner. We've been watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Prime. Not watching Prime TV. Show. I have peaked at this. Y'all, this bitch was home all day. <laughs> She was home all day, y'all. Y'all, she was home all day. All day, she was home. At home was she. All day. Now, one time did she take a fat ass down there to that goddamn gym and where we at? 27 minutes and 59 seconds into this vlog and we still didn't see her fat ass gear up to go out there and run around with Bruno in the snow. Are y'all listening to her? Are y'all listening? Alex is stands. Do you see how she'll tell you the truth and lie to you in the same goddamn vlog? <laughs> like with the food. <laughs> she was like, this is my plate and this is Yarm's plate. True. But it was like, it's like lying with by omission. She uh, omitted the part <laughs> where she didn't show you how much she actually ate on her plate. Are y'all getting it? So she told you the truth. That was her physical plate, but it wasn't her realistic portion. Okay? So that's a lie. You want to know why? Because she shared her weight loss journey. She has been for years, ever since she was over there in Nancy's um, um, attic. Or was it the basement? I don't fucking remember. I think it was the attic. Okay, she's been sharing it for the better part of 11 years. Okay, so that's what makes it a lie. Do y'all understand now? Does anyone have any questions? Please raise your hands. Miss Nella is here to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, because I'm a really good teacher. You can watch my vlog channel for that. But back to this girl. She'll tell you a truth but give you a lie in the same video. Now, unless... In the, in the last um, two minutes and one second of this vlog, she shows herself outside with the dog playing around and whatnot and having a good snow day with the dog and not standing in the house while she records the dog run around. So there's still time and I could be wrong. So let's see. It's a couple times today. And it definitely helped a little bit, but I still got a lot over here. So let me know if you guys have any other tips or tricks. I can smell it though, which is great. This one, I clearly, I guess I should have put two wicks. But you know. Your subscribers tried to tell your dumbass that back during, um, I almost said Foopagate. <laughs> Shout out to Mama Who for exposing Foopagate. Not Foopagate, Candlegate. But see, you think you're a smart little girl and you just ignored your loyal subscribers. You also loyal the people are loyal. You also ignored the the vlogging reaction channels that try to tell you that. But see, you don't listen, and that's why your candle look like this, and you also don't listen, and that's why your 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 pointing finger is the size of your thumb because you don't listen. Yeah. You live and you learn. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Shut the hell up. Work. Oh. Woodwicks? Oh! I probably still have to put two. Oh! Yar made the video. This man is working overtime. This man said, listen, bitch, I need an upgrade on my motherfucking car, bitch. I'm working overtime. I'm finna be in another vlog. <laughs> I'm here for it. You know why? Because he contracted work. Okay. That's his job. To show up every now and again. Pat her on that hump that's on the back of her fucking neck and tell her, good job, bitch. We made some more money. Give me my cut. I'm here for it. Whatever. Do what the fuck you can. Because she using you too. Because she trying to trick everybody in thinking that someone with your physique will want her big blob 
nasty, gross, not washing hair, silverback ass. Okay? That's what she wants the world to think. That men that look like Yar, and, and I don't, I know people think that Yar is ugly and yeah, his eyes are far apart. Fine. But just overall, he's still a handsome gentleman. Okay? He's not walking around here looking like Flavor Flav. If you don't know who Flavor Flav is, bitch, look him up. And you'll be like, Ugh. okay? So Yar is a handsome guy and his body is in shape. He works out. He runs. He works. He's also in the military. He's a good guy, right? So Alex is using this man to show the world, like, I can get a good man even if I am overweight and sloppy and fat and disgusting and a liar and my hair is greasy because I refuse to wash it and I'm a consumerist, okay? And by her own words in a video that I showed y'all before this one that I reacted to, she talked about herself having white privilege, okay? She's got all these things and she's showing her subscribers, followers, whatever you want to call them, that, hey, you can be a big blob like me and still get a man that's in shape. That's what she's doing. She's using him. So I don't give a fuck if he take her ass for everything that she's got because she started this shit by using him. She catfished him from the beginning with fake ass photos and shit of herself visibly younger and visibly thinner, way thinner than what she was when she met him. So with that being said, y'all get you a new Tesla, buddy. While you at it, make her ass buy you one of them race cars that you like so much. Fuck her. Shit. Get that money. Okay? Because he a sugar baby. Get that money, sugar baby. Shit. I think it's just too big. Still haven't brought the Super Bowl stuff to the basement. <laughs> I just like, it's like I know where to put it, but I just don't want to. Or you want another shelf down there. I need another shelf. It's overflowing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the candle saga of the day. And in honor of Valentine's Day tomorrow, I have on these heart skims pajamas. Ugly! So cute. But yeah, we're just going to chill the rest of the night. Maybe watch more Mr. and Mrs. Smith. He thinks it's moving a little slow. Or too much dialogue. Too much dialogue. Too much dialogue. He wants more action. Do you need to go out again? He's been out a lot. You just want to keep playing. That's fine. You better go out there with him. <laughs> he has gone out and played so much today. Okay, and just like I said, she didn't carry her big ass out the door with the goddamn dog. Okay, and that's it, and that's all. We had 29 minutes, 18 seconds. She has on her pajamas. She said that's it for tonight. Um, they're just gonna watch some more Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So here Alex is again telling what seemed to be the truth, but then lying again in the same goddamn vlog. Um I like the show. I, I don't know why. I do see a few points where it's a little bit like a lot of talking, but I like it though. I like it. Yarman's yeah, pushing through it for me at this point. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out today on this snow day. I hope you enjoyed a snow day vlog. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Uh, we absolutely did not enjoy this bullshit. Okay, Miss Mamas? No, no, we fucking did not. But anyways, like I said, y'all, Alex will tell the truth and lie in the same goddamn video. I told y'all. So, oh, I'm, I'm getting better at this. Like, I'm at one hour and three minutes right now, going on four minutes. I'm happy because I saw a few different comments where it was like um, people were just commenting like, yeah, you know, an hour and however many minutes I had on one of those other ones. And so I'm gonna um, start to try to do more um, longer reaction videos because you guys like it. I wasn't sure starting out, which is why I kind of just was doing 30 minutes or however long her video was plus my commentary. So I'm gonna try to do longer ones. The next one, will be, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this now. 
Um, it is 8.48 a.m. on Saturday morning. Okay. January, January, what the hell? February 17th, 2024. And I'm going to go and do some shopping and stuff that I need to do. And I'll probably have that on my vlogging channel. So if y'all want to see what I get and where we go, me and my best friends are about to hang out and go shopping. But I will see y'all in the next one. The next one will be Amberlynn Reed because someone in Discord requested that I do her. Um, react, do reaction to, do reactions, Jesus Christ, do reactions to her vlogs. And then someone in my comment section, I can't remember which video it was. I'm going to go back and find it so that I can tag that person. Um, they also mentioned, you know, me doing Amberlynn Reed or if I would think about doing it. And so I will, I'll probably come back like after I grocery shop and hang out today with my friends, come back and do that. And maybe I'll have that um, upload ready this afternoon or this evening sometimes. I, I, I don't know how long we're going to hang out. It's usually an all day thing. But with that being said, to my lovely suburbanites, beach bums, and city slickers, bye.